Good morning, everybody. This is an important Shabbos. We're getting close to the month of Elul. Elul is the month that we prepare for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And there's something in this Torah portion which I think is very important and can help us in those preparations. There's a verse. It shows up in this week's Torah portion and a few chapters earlier where it says something along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing, God says to Moshe, Moses to tell the Jewish people to keep the commandments and all the laws. And then he says, and do that which is good and straight in the eyes of Hashem. So once you tell us, Moshe, Moses, to keep all the mitzvot and the commandments in the Torah, obviously do that which is good and straight in Hashem's eyes. Why this extra verse? What is this coming to teach us or coming to add? Rashi tells us something very important. He says there's two concepts here. One is pshara, compromise. You know, sometimes the halacha, the law, might be in my favor. I might have a dispute in court with somebody. There might be some business transaction that didn't go perfectly well, and now we're arguing about it, or we have some disagreement or something, and the halacha might be in my favor. But that doesn't mean I should always take advantage of the situation when I'm right. Pshara, compromise. I might know that I'm right. But I also have to understand that you have a position. You're coming from somewhere that has validity to it. And if I can't compromise and I hold the line and I keep what I know to be right and to be true all the time, then society doesn't function that way. And the other idea that Rashi says, which is similar, is lifnim mishur sadin, go beyond the letter of the law. The law might state a certain thing that that I'm required to do this. Don't look for the minimum threshold to satisfy my obligations from a Torah perspective, but look for opportunities to go beyond the letter of the law. There's a great story I remember hearing about a rabbi who lived in Europe. He was, he was known as the Brisker Rav. And somebody once came to him. It was right before Passover. And a woman came to him, a poor woman. She was a widow. And she asked the rabbi a strange question. She wanted to know at her Passover Seder, could she use milk for the four cups instead of wine? And he asked her why. And she said, because I have milk. I have a cow. I can't afford wine. So the rabbi said, go home and I'll think about it. And what did he do? He sent to her house wine and meat. And when one of his students asked the rabbi, she didn't have wine. How do you know she didn't have meat? He answered, if she was going to drink milk for the four cups at the Passover Seder, obviously she didn't have meat to eat either at the Passover Seder. He didn't just minimally satisfy the threshold of what the situation required from him, which was money for wine. He said, no, let's think beyond. Let's go beyond the letter of the law and think of what a person's true needs are. Sometimes we have to understand and try to ask ourselves, what does this person really need? Okay, the law might not require that I provide that person with such a thing, but what does this person need? And sometimes, what does Hashem really want from me? Yes, of course, to keep the laws and to follow the Torah, but I have to be able to think bigger than that as well. What kind of person does he want me to be? What kind of midot, what kind of character traits does he hope and, and, and yearn for me to acquire throughout my life? This is a message that can get us ready for Elul, to think about the power of compromise and the power of going beyond the minimum requirement, the letter of the law. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom from Yushalayim.